So let's talk what it is to be actually turned on as a man, to be in your turn on when you're approaching a woman, flirting with a woman, on a date with your girlfriend, your wife. You see, turn on is such a powerful energy. It's the energy of passion. It's the creative energy. We don't just get turned on for our sexual partner. We get turned on for art. We get turned on for to, to go do art. We get turned on to go build our business. We get turned on for life. If we're really in our bodies, if we're really down in the hip area, really feeling. See, that's where turn on comes from. The turn on builds up in the hips, but then it runs through the body. It runs up the spine, runs through different parts of the body, and we feel it throughout the whole entire body. Now, what a lot of men are missing today, and this is a really key point, is that a lot of men are missing their turn on in interactions. They feel heart, and that ma the heart can allow for a really good interaction, like a friendly interaction. But the turn on really allows you, especially when things heat up a little bit, to feel more attractive to her, more interesting. It shows your interest in her without saying it turn on comes from the core the center pillar of the body all the way down here you don't have to start and turn on but as the turn on builds there's a sense of mischievousness mischievousness is that a real word <laughs> being mischievous there's a sense of intrigue there's a sense of I life i love how zan used to say let's have an intrigue together there's a sense of pleasure and i want to invite you into it with the turn on there's a sense of of naughtiness but in a fun playful innocent sort of way like a like a little boy who got his hand caught in the cookie jar right you want to have fun with her you want to invite her into it the guys that were the best at this really good at this were actors from like james dean right think about james dean he was always looking down here towards this he was feeling down the core of his body towards his turn on he would look back and he would have this like hey what's up and he'd look back down and these guys nailed it right or um, um, the Godfather, the actor that played the Godfather when he was young, right? I can't remember his name, but I'm sure you guys do. Uh, it'll come to me in a little bit, hopefully. Or Elvis Presley, right? These guys, they just, they walked and moved from their hips and they, when they looked at a woman, there was always this sense of turn on and pleasure. The heart was still there, but it was a naughtiness, a curiosity, right? I did a video on this a while back on James Dean and and the screen test he did uh, years ago and you could just feel the palpable turn on coming through the screen test. And it was so beautiful to watch. Well, as I've been looking lately at some of the best flirts uh, off camera, like these actors that get it, they get turn on and they flirt off camera. I've been super fascinated by how they all get this idea. They drop into their turn on and then when they look, there's a sense of curiosity coming from their eyes, from the turn on. There's a sense of pleasure. There's a sense of that sense of intrigue. Like I'm looking at you and let's have a, let's have a little conversation. So what it does is it puts these undertones on their words. Instead of their words being normal words, instead of their words being normal words, like stop being a, stop being a goofball, right? That's like a normal word. You might tease somebody with, hey, stop being a goofball. They say, they might look and, and drop into their turn on and be like, stop being a goofball. And there's a different connotation of that. Or, you know, don't make me come over there. Well, what's the connotation of that, right? If I'm like, hey, don't make me come over there, right? Versus dropping down in that turn on and being like, don't make me come over there. There's an implied message in that. And there's this fun and playfulness. Now, does that mean it's always gonna land? No. If a woman's not open to it, she's gonna reject it. A lot of women will appreciate it, but still reject it because they're not available. They're married, they're taken. It's not the right time for them. And some women might reject it outright, maybe because they did get turned on and they're like, nope, nope, can't go there. Um, maybe they're really got strong religious values and they shut it down. But a lot of women will respond, especially if they're open especially if they're in a place where they want something like that. You see, if you're afraid of offending, this is kind of off topic, but if you're afraid of offending and you don't go there, you don't give it a shot, you don't shoot your shot for lack of a better term, then you're not gonna get anywhere. In life, the most successful people in the world go for it. They fail a lot, right? They get rejected, they fail, but they learn, they grow, and they get better. So I wanna invite you to this idea but just start to pay attention to what you're feeling in your hips, your turn on. See if you can find some turn on down there. 
It doesn't have to be like a full-blown sexual turn-on, just like a, like a curiosity from your hips, a, a, a playfulness, a naughtiness. And connect that to your heart. Feel your heart. Feel the warmth and the fuzziness in your heart. And walk around and talk to people from there. You can talk to every, you can You can be in that place talking to the barista at the coffee shop. It doesn't have to be something where you're actually hitting on her. You could just, hey, what's up? How you doing? And there's this sense of pleasure coming through your body. You can talk to other guys that way. Hey, what's up? How you doing, man? And there's a sense of power in there. Because turn on is not just used for sexual interactions. It's used to show your creative power as a man, your ability to enjoy the moment, to express pleasure through your own body to the world. And honestly, that's a lot of what women are looking for, a man that knows how to enjoy himself. You know, she wants to meet a guy that knows how to enjoy himself and have him invite her into it. And I personally think these are the guys that often get women that sometimes they're not even the best looking, they don't have a lot of money, but they know how to have fun with life. They know how to have pleasure. They know how to drop into their turn on. Be a little naughty from time to time. Just crack a little joke. Be curious. Look her deep from the turn on and say, who are you? What's up? Um, don't make me come over there and spank you, right? Just playful stuff. And, and the playfulness has to start with the subcommunication, which starts with how you feel inside. If you can find that turn on, you can find that heart, you can really enjoy the moment for you and start to walk in it, talk in it, flow in it. Then when you meet a beautiful woman, it's right there. And not only is it right there, if you're getting it basically down and you got it on 10% and you're enjoying life, then when you meet a beautiful woman, it's going to amplify because her energy is going to amplify it. And then all you want to do is just be curious, see what happens, start to play. So really think about this idea of the turn on, really feeling your hips, enjoying your turn on. And I want to invite you to check out my James Dean video. And uh, I'll put that in the link in the description uh, because there's a meditation that goes with that about building your turn on. And it has a little bit of a breakdown, I think, of that video with James Dean, if I remember what I did in there. Now, with that said, I want to invite you to comment in this video. I love those comments. They really help us all to grow really they do and they help you to grow and you know, what you're afraid to put in there sometimes is the very thing that'll change your reality on top of that i want to invite you to like subscribe and share uh, those shares really help to grow the channel and those likes help to build the channel so with that said have a beautiful day and remember only the confident really live